Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna talk about how much protein you need to eat each day in order to build muscle and burn fat. Let's dive in. All right, so today we're gonna talk about protein. Before we jump into the actual calculations though, make sure you stay until the end of the video because two of the other things that we need to talk about as far as building muscle goes and burning fat is making sure that you're in a proper calorie surplus. And then also as far as weightlifting is concerned, how many sets and repetitions do I need to be doing during my workouts to make sure that I'm maximizing muscle growth? So what is protein? Protein is what is called a macronutrient. If you're not familiar with macronutrients, there are three main macronutrients. We've got protein, of course, carbohydrates, and fat. A macronutrient is simply a main source of energy that our body uses in order to function properly. Probably brings up the question, what is a micronutrient? A micronutrient is something that our body still needs, but needs in much less of a smaller amount. These are gonna be things like vitamin C, vitamin B, minerals like zinc, magnesium, things of that nature. So why is protein important? The biggest benefits of eating a high protein diet and making sure you get enough protein each day is because it's super important for you to build muscle and burn fat. Protein and amino acids are the main building blocks of muscle tissue. So it's obviously important for you to make sure that you get enough protein in your diet in order for us to stack on muscle mass. One of the other benefits of protein is it helps you feel satisfied for a longer period of time. Making sure you eat enough protein is going to help you feel satisfied and curb those cravings that you're going to have because you're going to have them. Eating enough protein makes sure that you maintain the muscle mass that you do have because we don't want you losing fat and muscle because then that takes away the physique that we're trying to build. But what we're going to talk about today and probably why you clicked on the video is how much protein you need in order to get jacked, bro. So let's dive into the calculations and the actual numbers of how we do this. We're gonna start from the very bottom. The first one I want you to know is just understanding the very bare minimum you need as an adult in order to prevent a deficiency. A deficiency in a macro or a micronutrient is the very, very bare minimum of something that you need to consume each day in order to avoid muscle wasting and also put your body at risk for injury and other health problems like bone fractures. Ouch. According to the US Food and Drug Administration, the very bare minimum you need to eat as an adult each day in order to prevent these health problems is 50 grams of protein a day. Understand that there's a difference between deficiency and then the minimum daily intake that you need to have. A deficiency is the very bare minimum minimum that you need to eat each day in order for your body to just maintain a healthy weight, not lose any muscle and prevent injury. Minimum daily intake, according to the International Association of Athletics, the American College of Sports Medicine, and the Dietitians of Canada, oh, Canada. is 0.55 to 0.77 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So let's do an example of this. Let's take a 200 pound college baseball player. We're just gonna take 200 pounds and multiply it by 0.7 grams of protein. So a minimum, very bare minimum amount that this guy needs to be eating is 140 grams of protein a day in order to maintain his physique so that he can perform at a high level during games. The next question is, which is what you clicked on this video for and what you really wanna know is, how much protein do I need to eat each day in order to simultaneously build muscle and lose body fat? That's really what you wanna know, is how do I get shredded, bro? How much protein do I need? Cut to the chase. In general, you've probably heard this before, the old adage or the old rule is eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight that you have in order to, again, build muscle and lose fat. If you wanna do it the quick and dirty way, this is a good general overview. You actually don't have to waste a lot of time. This is okay to do. As a matter of fact, for most people, you're probably gonna be even getting more protein than you need in order to build muscle and lose fat simultaneously. However, from my own experience as a trainer, 
what I usually do is I usually calculate one gram of protein per lean body mass in order for my clients to maintain and build muscle and lose fat. The reason why is when you want to build muscle and lose fat simultaneously, you need to be in what's called a caloric deficit, meaning eating less calories than your body actually needs at maintenance level. And what this does is this allows you to hold on to your muscle and then burn the body fat stores as energy. This is what gives you, again, the lean cut look that you're going for. The benefit of using this formula, when you're in a caloric deficit, you want to make sure that you're eating adequate carbohydrates and adequate fats so that you can maintain carbohydrates will give you a higher performance level with your weightlifting. And then fat will not only help your hormonal level, but it's also going to help you with your feeling of satiety when it comes to your appetite. So the only thing or added piece of information that you need in order to do it this way is to know your body fat percentage. The best way to measure your body fat and the simplest way is with body fat calipers. You can go to your local gym and the gym or the trainers will be able to do it for you for free as an assessment. It doesn't have to be super accurate, just a ballpark figure in order for you to get a general idea of what your current body fat percentage is. But let's do a live calculation. So once you know your total body weight and your body fat percentage, and we'll use our 200 pound college baseball player again as an example, we'll say that he's at 15% body fat. Multiply 200 times 0.15 for 15%, and that's gonna give us the amount of his body weight that's in fat, so 30 pounds. So then we're just gonna take the 200 pounds and subtract the 30 pounds of body fat. This means he's got 170 pounds of lean muscle mass. Pretty easy, he's gonna eat 170 grams of protein that's congruent with that 170 pounds of lean mass in order to simultaneously build muscle and lose body fat during his body fat cut. One thing I will say is this is just a general rule of thumb. It really depends on the individual's age, height, specific activity level, and current fitness level. There are a few other variables that come into play that I usually manipulate depending on whatever individual I'm coaching and their situation. But this is a good rule of thumb that you can set for yourself that will allow you to see progress and build muscle and again, lose the fat that you want. When you want to simultaneously build muscle and lose fat, you're gonna put yourself in a caloric deficit and make sure you're maintaining an adequate level of protein, which we just did. If you you want to just straight put on bulk and mass and size and get bigger then you need to make sure that you're in a caloric surplus meaning the more cal you're eating more calories than your maintenance level is at and of course you need to make sure that you're also eating more protein along with that caloric surplus. One more question that you have probably is, how do I track my protein? Because that's important. Now you've figured it out, how do I measure it? So the app that I use with all of my clients, and you don't have to do the paid version, you can use the free version, is MyFitnessPal. It's a free app online. You can calculate in your calories and your macros, meaning your proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. And this, as long as you log everything accurately, will give you a very accurate assessment of what your daily protein intake is. You can also, what I recommend doing is getting a food scale not just for protein but it is specifically helpful for your protein intake but all of your other macronutrients and how in-depth and serious you want to get with this process and I'm guessing you do because you clicked on this video so food scale is incredibly helpful in order to track and be accurate with your protein intake you might also be having these other questions about okay Pierce great I know how much protein I'm supposed to have well how many calories am I supposed to be eating how does that work or what exercises should I be doing or how many sets and repetitions do I need to be doing for the exercises in order to make sure that I'm maximizing growth? Don't worry, I'm gonna be making videos on every single one of these topics. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much again for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because I am gonna be releasing a lot more educational videos on exercise technique, programming for yourself, and nutrition, all with the goal in mind to help you get the body that you want. Thanks again, we'll see you next time. Peace.